Hi everyone, uh, this is uh, an interesting thing I just stumbled upon. Uh, I was um, in, my intention was to uh, see how my Bedini motor worked as uh, a synchronous motor, and I have all uh, these nine coils in series and. Uh, on each coil I have all the windings in parallel okay? and the nine, uh, the, sorry, the tenth coil is uh, just uh, showing the face um, it is the, the yellow trace is on, on that coil and I'm not using it for anything than for a reference uh, then I have this uh, variable transformer as a source that I have connected to these nine coils and I also have uh, a resistor, one ohm resistor in series to uh, show me the, the current and uh, this is the output from the transformer which is also the, the purple trace the blue trace is the voltage across the, resist the resistor, so that's the current. Okay. So right now it's in sync. Yes, and another thing, um, the trigger is on the purple trace, the voltage from uh, the transformer. So, for instance, if uh, if the if the rotor is slowed down, the yellow trace, which is on on the tenth coil which isn't used for anything, will go like that, like this. Okay. And now it will swing back and forth. And I, whoops, let me break it a bit more and you will see what happens. And I have to spin it to catch up again, like that. And to stop it to swing, I have to uh, break it at the right point, like that. Let's see if I can get it. Whoops! I can get it to stop swinging. Okay, there we go. So uh, my intention was to see how lo at what lo uh, what the lowest voltage from the transformer can be to run this, and uh, the voltage from from the coils when they are not loaded and they're running at this speed is uh, 5.6 volt or something like that Some, somewhere between 5 and 6 volts okay. uh, so let's see now um, the voltage is now above 10 volts and uh, let's uh, decrease that see what happens it is still working as you can see and uh, I have to be careful here now we're approaching the voltage that's on the on the that's generated within the coils and uh, although uh, well this is RMS so actually the, the top voltage right now is 9 volts the max voltage so let's uh, decrease the voltage even further and you now watch what happens to the to the, the to, to the blue uh, curve um, which is the current when I decrease the voltage whoops okay peak now is uh, about 7 volts and let's go down further 6 volts peak and there is almost well as you can see the the current is more or less going away it's now it's uh, the division is now at 200 milliamps uh, let's bring that one up the division is now uh, 2 volts for that one now let's see when I go even further down on the voltage like that now look what happened to the, the current it has shifted 
let's see if it can uh, stop it from wobbling like that maybe okay now let's see if I can go even further down this is um, tricky because just the slightest movement here can give big results uh, whoops yeah there you go okay now the peak voltage is now two um, 4.4 volts so we are below the voltage on the coils and as you can see the current is has moved further to the left and it's still running I think I find this very 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 strange now let's see I I have been able to go even further down on the voltage see if it can if I can do that again jumping here no. maybe like that okay whoops no I have to get it back I think I got it again maybe <laughs> no no Maybe I have to do a rerun of this. Do I have it again? No, no. Now it's, it's wobbling back and forth too much, I guess. I have to start over again. Okay, let's see if we can get back on track, make it sync again. Okay, now it's synced again. And let's see if we can stop making it wobbling like that. Okay, now let's go down again with the voltage. There you have it. This is really strange to me. The top voltage now, the input peak voltage is 3.68 volts. The peak current is 400 milliamps. And <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. But it's uh, interesting. It's fascinating. I don't know what's going. On. So, if you understand what's going on, why the rotor is still turning, uh, please send me a message or something and tell me what's going on. Uh, because uh, this is uh, something that I've never experienced before. So uh, let's see if we can bring this one up a bit yeah like that no that's too big this is odd this is odd okay thank you for watching